Hey, I'm Natalia. I'm a local powder maker slash sample maker. And today I'm going to show you how to make this flat cargo pocket two in one. So what I mean by that is that you can keep one thing on the top and then you can also keep your hand warm on the side. This kind of pocket is really commonly seen in outerwear, especially rain jackets. So you can keep things in this compartment dry, but then keep your hand warm on the side. So let's get into it. Cut out the pocket and the pocket flap. Press and pleat the pocket. The center of my pleat is an inch and a half wide. Top stitch the edges of the pleat, but only the edges. Sew the pocket flaps and turn them inside out and press. Pressing is super essential. Then you're going to do two rows of top stitching a quarter inch away from each other. Use the pleated pocket as a pattern piece for the pocket lining. After that, you're gonna put the right sides of fabric together and sew half an inch seam allowance all around. Trim the edges of the pocket so it makes it easier when you flip it. Flip the pocket and I pick the corners out with this little wooden tool that I have. You're gonna press that and then after that, you're going to do an inch for seam allowance and overlock the edge of the top pocket. So that's how it should look. Next, you're going to fold it down an inch right where you marked it and press. This is how it should look like. I stitched it along the edge, but if I were to do this again, I would do maybe half an inch lower. Here, you're going to mark the pocket placement of the side pocket. So I marked half an inch on the top and on the bottom. And with my clear ruler, which is literally the best thing ever, mark half an inch out. This is preference. You could do a quarter inch if you like. So this is how it looks. Here I'm measuring the distance of the pocket, figuring out pocket placement. So I do two and a half inches and from the center front and two inches from the bottom. Top stitch the edge of the pocket to the body. And here I'm stitching all around the pocket just right on the edge. Make sure not to stitch all the way to the pocket, leave a little room so that you can put your hand on the side and through the top. Here I mark half an inch above the pocket, pocket bag, and I put the flap there. Then I stitch a quarter inch maybe slightly less, but around a quarter inch on the pocket flap just to keep it in place. Then I fold it down neatly and I top stitch over that. So that's the final pocket. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about me, you can follow me on Instagram or go to my website. I offer pattern making and sample making services, and you can check out more of my work there.